As part of your lab procedure, you're also going to be required to measure the um, weight of liquids or solids, such as potassium chloride in this case. And um, I'm just going to show you how to measure a substance. This is just a weight. So you can measure various things on um, what are called balances. So there are two basic balances that are used in the lab. This particular one is called the triple beam balance. It is used to manually measure substances, whether liquid, solids, or um, or a, uh, any other, well, liquids and solids mostly. And this is an electronic balance. It is used to automatically measure um, your substance. So I'm going to use for this particular um, video a, a, a weight, and I'm going to measure it manually using the triple balance and electronically using the electronic pan balance. So the triple balance is made up of certain parts. So this is called the pan. This is what you put your, whatever you're going to weigh onto this pan. And this is called the beam. These three um, levers, they are called the beam. And then this part is called the, the marker or where the zero mark is. And this is a pointer. This is where the beam is going to point to the zero mark to show that the beam is balanced and that you're, you have the accurate weight of your substance that you're going to be measuring. So before you measure, you have to make sure that you, what you do what is called zero, you zero your balance. And when you zero your balance, it means that you're going to place all of these, what is, these are called riders, you're going to place them all to the zero point. So they're all at the zero point. And you know that because the pointer is going to be in line with the zero mark right here. That tells you that you, you have balance. And then you're going to put whatever you're going to weigh onto the pan. Now, I must point out that if you're going to weigh liquids, you cannot just pour a liquid onto the pan. It's just going to mess the whole um, counter up, and you won't get any measurement of your liquid. You, it has to be in a container. And your solids also, do not pour your solids directly onto the pan. You could damage the pan like that. It has to be in a container. This is a weigh boat that my potassium chloride is in. So for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use this weight, and I'm going to make sure it's placed in the center of the pan. And then my aim is to make sure that I move these riders so that my pointer is going to be in line with zero mark right here. The first rider to move is the one that shows you the beam in increments of 100 grams. So you move from one groove to a next groove in order to achieve the balance. So you start out with this one. So if you notice, the, the pointer here is above the zero mark level. So you want to move it forward to the next groove and make sure you hear the clicking sound that shows you that it's in the next groove. It didn't move, so you're going to move it to the next one. It didn't move either. Move it to the next. If you notice, it went slightly above the mark here. So I want to go backwards to get accurately what should happen um, if it was actually at the zero point. So I'm going to use a second rider, and I'm going to move it in increments of 10. So I move it. It doesn't move. I move it to the next groove. It doesn't move. To the next one, no movement. And I'm continuing to move it. And if you notice here, it is actually in line with the zero mark. So I didn't even have to move this particular um, rider, which gives you increments to the, um, for every one gram. So if I were to add the gram recorded here, which is 200 grams on this rider, where the rider is pointing to, plus, 200, plus 100 grams 
gotten from this rider that would give me 300 grams. So the weight of this, this actual weight is 300 grams. Now if I were to use the electronic balance, the first thing I want to do is to make sure it's on. So if it wasn't on, you press this button and everything would be, be on. So right now it's, you can see that it's on and it's at this, it has um, written on the display screen 0 0.01. To make sure it's 0, 0.00, I press this zeroing button or tearing button and this is to make sure that the balance is zeroed. It's at the zero mark before we continue our measurement. So when you see the G sign established, it tells you that um, the weight is stabilized and now you can put your weight onto the center of the pan. And it's, if you notice the numbers at the 0 0.01 mark keeps moving up and down, you wait until it stabilizes. And this is reading the weight to be 300.02 grams. So this one is a little bit more accurate than the manual triple balance, but they both can be used for measuring weight of substances, liquids, such as liquids or solids.